Tara Brownlee, Occupational Therapist with Sensory Solutions. Today, we're gonna learn about drawing a person. But first, we need to learn about the pre-printing shapes involved in drawing a person. So our first one here is a line down. Our second pre-printing shape is line across. Then we have a circle starting at the top and being formed in a counterclockwise direction. And then we have a cross, line down, line across. Then we have a square, line down, line down, line across, line across. And we have some diagonal lines, sliding line and sliding line. So you might be wondering why are these pre-printing shapes important. The pre -print, knowing these pre-printing shapes is the foundational knowledge for forming our letters correctly. So if a child knows how to form a line down, they will easily be able to form parts of letters, such as the letter E, that also involves line across, and potentially letter F, line down, line across, line across. If we have a child who experiences difficulty forming diagonal lines, they might be experiencing challenges forming letters such as letter K that has two diagonal lines or potentially letter Y that has diagonal lines as well. So a really fun way to learn how to form these pre-printing shapes is to learn by drawing a person. And here is our good friend, Matt Man. And Matt Man incorporates lots of the pre-printing shapes such as the circle, the square, the diagonal lines for the arms, the straight lines for the legs, and the horizontal lines for the feet. So one of the first activities you can do to teach your child how to draw a person is have them imitate you, one body part at a time. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. I have two pieces of paper here. So first the adult would draw the head and then the, you would encourage your child to draw the head. And then you would add on the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And then you would encourage your child to do the same. Two eyes, a nose and a mouth. And then maybe next you go to draw the body And then you encourage your child to draw a body the same way. And so on. So as your child becomes better and better at imitating drawing a person, you could encourage them to copy drawing a person. So while they, where they have an image of a person beside them to look at and where they copy it. So by looking over here, you can see we have the pre-printing shape of circle. So again, we're gonna start with the head and then maybe we add on the ears, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and then they know how to draw the body and they add the arms and so on, just like that. Another great way to work on incorporating those pre-printing shapes into drawing a person is through sensory experiences. So what I have here is a baking pan with sugar in it. And you can feel free to put anything you like in the pan, such as flour, salt, sand, rice, pudding, all of those mediums can be used for this activity. So we're gonna start by drawing the head and we're gonna add the body just like that with some arms and the legs and so on.